Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to shoot various types of hyperlapses with 3-axis gimbal and smartphone. I'll be using a Hohem iSteady X and Xiaomi Mi 8. The advantage of capturing hyperlapses with a gimbal is that you don't have to have any image stabilization on your smartphone, so you can really use any smartphone you want. For your hyperlapses you can either choose taking photos or shooting time-lapse. Taking photos offer more possibilities in post-production and you will probably achieve slightly better quality. But on the other hand, if you handle time-lapse correctly, you have your hyperlapse done right away. Each mode has its advantages, so I recommend to try both of them and then decide which mode suits you better. So let's get started. First gimbal mode is pan and tilt follow. The gimbal will follow any movements you make but keep the camera level by locking the roll axis. This mode is essential if you want that vertical movement in your hyperlapses. This is a scene for our first shot. Let's say for this situation right here, we want to have the top of the pink building in the shot at the end of the hyperlapse. So let's focus on that point. So as we will be getting closer to the building, we will be slowly moving the gimbal upwards. We need to walk as perpendicular to the building as possible and keep our focal point in the middle of the shot. One small tip, try to do the ninja walk, walking from heel to toe in order to minimize shaky footage. So let's sum it up, this tiny ninja is you and this will be our path. Once we have our shot planned, we have to set up the camera. I'll be using time lapse mode. For the interval, I prefer something around 0.5 seconds. If you have this option, try turn on the grid lines. It can greatly help you to keep the focal point in the same spot during shooting. Also, if you can, try lock the focus and the exposure to avoid image flickering. In my case, by tap and hold on our focal point. Now you can hit record button and start walking forward. And this is the final result stabilized in post-production. Second mode we are going to look at is tilt follow. It smooths out any panning motion and locks the roll axis. It allows you to move from side to side but keeps the vertical axis. This is great when you want to keep the horizon at the same level and still want some kind of movement in your shots. For this situation we also want to focus at the top of the building but we don't need that vertical movement. The path will be more of a curve this time, so we can take advantage of that horizontal movement. While shooting the hyperlapse, try to keep the building in the center of the shot by moving the gimbal to the sides. So again, find your point, lock the exposure and start recording. And the last one is all lock mode. This mode locks all the axes so that the orientation of the camera is locked in a place and still looking in the same direction. And this is probably the most used gimbal mode when shooting hyperlapses. For this last situation we just want to focus on the spot in front of us and don't want any movement at all. This is probably the easiest one. Don't need to worry about anything, we will just walk perpendicular to the building. You know the drill, find your spot, lock the exposure and hit the record button. And that's it. Now I will show you once again all the hyperlapses from the beginning, but this time with the gimbal mode they were recorded with. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it gave you an idea of how to use different gimbal modes in order to get various hyperlapses. But eventually it's up to you and your creativity which mode you will use and how will you shoot your hyperlapse.